This Excel video is all about the copy cut paste options in Microsoft Excel, including an updated option for pasting just values. Let's get started. So here I am in an Excel spreadsheet and you can see there's some formatting in some of these cells. For decades in Microsoft Excel, if you wanted to copy data, all you had to do was click and drag to highlight it and then you could hold control on the keyboard and tap C to copy and then click where you want to paste. And of course, it's based on the upper left corner of what you want to paste. So I want to paste this range. In the upper left corner, I have refined data set A and I want that to go here. So that's where I click and then I hold control and tap V to paste. And that pastes what I had copied down below. I'm gonna undo that by holding control and tapping Z to undo. Now that's copy. What about cut? If I click and drag to highlight that same range, I could hold control and tap X to cut. If you look at the X on the keyboard, it almost looks like a pair of scissors. And so that's one way to think about cut and remember the X for cut. So now, where do I want to paste what I've cut? Again, it's based on the upper left corner. So A2 in this case, whatever's there, where do I want that to move? Maybe A10 in this case. Hold Control, tap V to paste, and it's cut from where it originally was, and it's pasted where I told it to go. So all of this is fine and has been the case in Excel for a very long time. Recently though, Microsoft decided to add a paste option. So I'm gonna take this data, and in fact, I'm also gonna include row one. You can see there's some formatting there. So I click and drag to highlight that range, Control C to copy. Now, there are times when you want to copy and paste, but not copy paste the formatting. Maybe I don't need task name in orange. Maybe I don't need all of these different employees color coded. Maybe I don't need the underlining and the bold in the priority list. In cases like that, in the past, you would click where you want to paste, and then you would go here to the paste button on the home tab. There's other ways you could do this too. And you could click there and choose paste values. And you can see what it does. There's no color, there's no bold or underline. Well, there's a much faster way to do this now. All you do is click where you want to paste, hold control, hold shift, and tap V, and it does a paste values. This is much faster, much more user-friendly than the old method. So in this video, I've done a quick review of the long-standing methods for copy, cut, and paste, and I've also showed you the new option of Control shift v for pasting just the values. Notice that there's also other paste options that you can use, and you can put your mouse on these options to see what they are. You can also go to Paste Special, and it gives you even more options. You can very specifically paste just formats, for example, or the data validation, or or column widths and nothing else, just column widths, or number formats and values. There's just all of these different great options for Paste Special. If you want to learn more about Copy, Cut, and Paste, or specifically Paste Special, please watch my other videos on those topics. But in the meantime, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the Thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I really need to say thank you to my fantastic Super Techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. Also, one other thing you could really do to help the channel grow is to not only like, follow, and subscribe, but actually to share. I hope you'll take the time to share this video and others with people that you know that are trying to learn Microsoft Excel. 